previously I would have thought that um, the two religions couldn't, they couldn't both be right at the same time. Um, and so it's interesting to think about how, how they could be, or maybe they, they work together. How, what are you guys, what's your perspective on that? Like, uh, but I mean, it, it's a question that is on everybody's lips, but unfortunately, or as I see it, it really isn't a question of being right. It's a question of being people of faith and seeing the image of God in one another. There is, there is uniqueness, obviously, to the two faiths um, and, uh, and beliefs and, and that, are, that do not overlap, but it's important to, to learn about what does overlap and how we um, can learn from one another and certainly grow in respect and love uh, of, of each other. I was clueless about Christianity and um, I, you know, that many Christians have no idea about the Jewish roots of their faith. And I learned through the 15 years that we've been now doing this that I've learned so much about my own faith. So whether I believe in the ultimate belief of, the, of Christianity or not, the way there, the process, have, has taught me so much. So I would say that it really, we're still talking about what we agree on and yeah. that's what we concentrate on. And yeah. I see Christianity now as a, as a beautiful midrash to Judaism. So I'll give you an example. A midrash is a story um, you know, we look at the Bible as one book, but the Bible is not one book. The Bible is a, is a library, and the, the library has different genres, different themes. So there are books that you take literally and books that you don't take literally. And our Talmud tell, tells us, for example, the story of Genesis, the creation, right off the bat. You, we don't take it literally. It's a midrash. It's a story that's supposed to teach us uh, maybe a, a greater understanding of theology, of spirituality. So today I understand, you know, I don't have to take Christianity literally. It's, yeah. not, it's not about that. I, but I learned so much from the, the Christian understanding of the Hebrew text and the angle that they uh, put on it. So I see it as a fulfilling uh, experience and our religions con conversing with each other is an exercise of 2,000 years now of accepting the other, accepting someone you don't understand, accepting someone you don't have the same, share the same faith with. The Messiah that we believe in and the Messiah that you believe in, um, it's really about a circumstance something that will be so obvious that this is here that I don't think we will have to, will require a conversation anymore. This is exactly that idea of Shavuot or the, the Mount Sinai experience of it's beyond words. We will see the voices. We won't have to converse anymore. It will be the end of the discussion. And, you know, but we have exercised how to live together. And, and I'll just end by one, one more thing, actually, saying that it's an exercise that started 15 year, 1,500 years before Christianity uh, you know, came to be with Jewish sects that did not accept each other and kept fighting with each other, and the two kingdoms. And even when you believe in the same thing, so to speak, you can you know, try to kill each other all day. And yeah. so, you know, this is, you know, and Christianity, of course, Catholicism, Orthodoxy, Protestantism, um, there's all kinds of, um, you know, divisions that we can either um, embrace and say, this is a learning and enriching experience, what we call Rehoboth, Rehob, wide, diverse, or, um, is it an Egypt experience, a narrow experience that we have to fight each other? It's, a, it's our choice. But as Father Roy said earlier, God created a diverse world. 
didn't just create one type of butterfly, created thousands of them. And he created thousands of vegetables and thousands of fruit. So that is the goodness of God in this world. That's how it manifests itself. Not just giving us one type of food, a pill, that basically we could, it could maybe include all the vitamins and minerals that we need. But yeah. would that be fun? Would that be interesting? Would that be enriching? Not so much. That would be soylent. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just remember that God is too big to put in any box. It, religion's always been about who's right. Always beware of the person who thinks he's right. They cause the most damage to society. <laughs>